The U.S. is beginning the biggest vaccine rollout in its history. The first three million doses of Pfizer and BioNTech's COVID-19 vaccines have been sent to all 50 states. Delivery trucks and cargo planes carrying the first batch of doses are on the way as the mammoth task of distribution begins. It's further complicated by the need to store the Pfizer vaccine at subarctic temperatures. The inoculations are seen as pivotal to end the surging pandemic. The U.S. death toll is nearing 300,000. It was initially reported that White House officials would be among the first to be vaccinated, but President Donald Trump has now denied this. Simon Marks joins us live from Washington, D.C. Simon, tell us who's first in line then to receive the vaccines today. Well, the way this is going to work, Steve, and the military general who is behind the rollout operation is calling this <coughs> calling this D-Day. He says that this is very similar in scope and scale uh, to the D-Day invasion that took place uh, at the beginning of the end of World War II. Uh, more than 150 separate facilities all over the country will be receiving uh, their first batches of vaccine in the next few hours. Another 425 facilities all over the country will get theirs tomorrow and then a further 60 uh, are expected to receive theirs on Wednesday. Each individual state has filed plans with Operation Warp Speed. Uh, that, of course, is the project created by President Trump at the White House to speed uh, the creation and now distribution of the vaccine. And those individual states uh, have filed plans for getting the vaccines from medical facilities in very short order to frontline healthcare workers, first responders, and uh, the uh, long term residents of care homes. Those are the first uh, three groups of people in most states that are going to be receiving the vaccine. But just to give you a sense of the scale of the operation, he here in Washington, D.C., the local authorities only expect this week to receive around 6,400 doses of vaccine. In Washington, D.C., there are more than 680,000 residents. So that gives you a sense, you know, take those numbers and extrapolate them nationally. Uh, 300 million Americans, only 3 million doses of vaccine uh, being handed out initially. That gives you a sense of how long this entire program is going to take before it reaches the vast majority of Americans. And is that uh, perhaps connected to reports uh, that say President Trump has uh, been asking White House officials not to get vaccinated, particularly from the first batch? Well, some pretty extraordinary developments at the White House, because on Sunday it was absolutely clear that senior White House officials were going to get vaccinated. The National Security uh, Advisor Robert O'Brien confirmed as much. That led to uproar on social media uh, among critics of the Trump White House who, who say, well, hang on a second. The Trump White House has largely been populated by people who have been sceptical about the real threat that COVID-19 poses to the country and have not in large measure even taken practical measures to help themselves like wearing face masks. And now they're first in line for the vaccine. So President Trump intervened late last night and said no, he didn't believe that senior White House officials should be first in line for getting the vaccine. He says that he is not taking it either immediately, but he will at a later date. Uh, the, the issue here is that President Trump, of course, is the probably the one person inside the White House uh, who, by taking the vaccine, might be able to persuade some of his COVID sceptical, vaccine sceptical supporters similarly to take the vaccine. But after uh, the fury that was generated when it was suggested that senior staff throughout the White House would be at the front of the queue, uh, President Trump now finds himself in a bit of a difficult position in that regard. Okay, well, thanks for getting us up to speed with it. So, Mark speaking to us from Washington, D.C.